Ah, hello, and it's a blessed morning to you. This is Dr. Bill Bledsoe bringing you just another glorious session of your prayers connecting with the Holy Spirit that's within you. I just begin the prayers, but you must finish them with your heartfelt concerns, what's going on in your life, your walk with God, which is different from mine or anybody else's. Okay, so we'll begin by me saying my prayer. God, I thank you for this wonderful method of prayer brought to us through the generations from the house of Abraham, the house of David, from Jesus, his mother Mary, his father Joseph, and finally Virginia Ellen who wrote a simple little book that allows anybody to use this ancient method of prayer and understand it any way they want, use it any way they want, any time they want. I thank all the generations, and I thank you, God, for this wonderful method of prayer of me connecting to my Holy Spirit within and walking hand in hand with you, O oh God. Amen. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> if you'll repeat after me, the Sacred Heart Yoga Morning Prayer, Beloved God, I devote this practice this day to the evolution of my soul, to the fulfillment of my destiny in service to your love, O oh God. And I allow my heart to be purified of fear as it rejoices in your kingdom of heaven and your love, O oh God. And I give thanks for these blessings. these moments that I can share with my body, my mind, my heart, and my soul in oneness with your love, O oh God. And so it is, Amen. Om. <clears throat> now we'll do one more action where you repeat after me. This is a movement with our right arm, and what we're trying to do is eliminate our distractions, our fears, any fear at all will prevent our ability to love. It will distract us. It will keep us from it. If we have tremendous fear, we cannot feel love anymore. So we're going to, we do it twice in Sacred Heart Yoga, try to remove our fears. Here we're going to do an arm motion. Our right arm up to the 12 o'clock position up above our heads. Let it go over to the 3 o'clock position over to the right side of our bodies. And then to our right knee, left knee, nine o'clock position over the left side of our bodies, and then back up to the 12 o'clock position above our heads. As we do this arm motion, repeat after me this prayer. Beloved God and Holy Spirit, I clear my heart and my mind of anyone or anything standing within. I bless them and I send them into your love, your light, O oh God. O 
Om. Now the rest of the prayers, I'll just begin them and you must finish them with your own heartfelt concerns. At the end, we'll tone, we'll say together the word aloud, Om. Om. So, we're going to begin by <clears throat> asking God, how may we serve you this day? And no matter what answer comes to you, even if it's nothing at all, just incorporate it in the rest of your prayers, and you will understand what you're being taught this day, or what you're being asked to do, or what God wants you to do. Uh, it's, it's a constant, as the Bible says, teaching from the Holy Spirit within. I don't care what you call the Holy Spirit within. Some people, you know, uh, there's hundreds of names for God and the Holy Spirit within. Um, uh, and I don't care what you call it. I don't care, you know, some people uh, think of it as, as uh, well, I, I mean, I just, there's thousands of ways. I mean, there's no sense naming one or two of them. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> but yeah, we'll ask the Holy Spirit within, how may we serve you? And I just use the term Holy Spirit because I was raised Catholic, and that's what comes to me. Uh, anything you want to call them. So here we take our right hands over our hearts, and I'll say our prayers begin with for the rest of the prayers. That means you repeat after me what I say, and then uh, finish it with your own heartfelt concerns. I'll give you a little bit of time, and then we'll tone together aloud and, and move on to the next position. So here we take our right hands over our hearts and our prayers begin with, God, how may I serve you this day? Om. <clears throat> now we're going to stand up and announce out loud what came to us. We stand straight and tall, put our arms at our sides, our palms forward. And here our prayers begin with, God, my intention to serve you this day is to Om. Now we're going to sing the word Amen aloud three times. This is saying the word Amen aloud three times is how an oath was sealed between two people or between a person and God. And Aramaic in Jesus' tongue is actual language. 
So here we're going to sing it aloud, whatever tune feels right to you, whatever pitch is right for you, everyone's different. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to sit back down on the mats, lay down on our backs, <clears throat> and get into what's called resting position, which is on our backs, our legs outstretched, our arms at our sides. Now we begin by pulling our right knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we take our right foot in our left hand, pull it over to our left thigh, let our right knee fall down to the mat. Our right arm gets extended straight above our head, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we take our right foot in our right hand, hold it down near our pelvis. Our left arm gets extended straight above our heads, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true father, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we point our right foot up towards the heavens. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for
Now we let our right foot fall out to the right side of our bodies, extending our right leg straight out, open our pelvis as wide as we can. Our arms fall straight out to the sides from our chest down to the mat, palms up. And here our prayers begin with. God, Holy Spirit, I love you and I thank you for all Now, keeping our right leg straight, we point it up towards the head. Well, first we turn our heads to the right, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. Keeping our left, our right leg straight, we point it up towards the heavens and over to the left side of our bodies, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with. God. Holy Spirit, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we go back to resting position, arms at our sides, legs outstretched, and we pull our left knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. Here, our prayers begin with God, Holy Spirit, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we take our left foot in our right hand, pull it over to our right thigh, let our left knee fall down to the mat. Our left arm gets extended straight above our heads, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Oh. 
Now we take our left foot in our left hand, hold it down near our pelvis. Our right arm gets extended straight above our heads down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with God, Holy Spirit, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we take our Left foot pointed up towards the heavens, holding it with our left hand. And here our prayers begin with God, Holy Spirit, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for. Um, now we let our left leg go out to the left side of our bodies, extend it out straight, opening our pelvis as wide as we can. We take our arms and extend them straight out to the right, to the outside, out from our shoulders, down to the mat, extending our arms straight, palms up. And here our prayers begin with God, Holy Spirit within, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we turn our heads to the left, keeping our left leg straight. We shoulders down on the mat. We take our left leg pointed up towards the heavens and then over to the right side of our bodies, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we go back to resting position. And for a second time, we're going to try to remove our fears. This time it's called Surrender Our Fears. 
to the Holy Spirit's love within. Here we take and put our hands under our sit bones, legs outstretched. We lean forward on our elbows, try to touch the tops of our heads back down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, Holy Spirit within, I surrender into your love my fears of. Um, now we go back to resting position, arms at our sides, legs outstretched. We take our left hand and reach up for the heavens. Let it fall over to the right side of our body, stretching our left shoulder. Take our right hand halfway between our left elbow and left shoulder and stretch it over farther. And here our prayers begin with God, Holy Spirit within, in service to your love, I choose to Um. Now we switch arms, we reach for the heavens with our left hand, let it fall over to the right, no, this is our right hand, opposite hand this time. Reach for the heavens with our right hand, let it fall over to the left side of our bodies, down towards the mat. Take our left hand halfway between our right elbow, right shoulder, stretch it over farther. And here our prayers begin with, God, Holy Spirit within, in service to your love, I can. Um, now we go back to resting position and we pull both feet up to our pelvis. Knees heavenward and we let our knees fall out to the outside of our bodies down to the mat. This forms a triangle, a tabernacle below our bodies. We form a second tabernacle by putting our hands above our hearts and extending them in prayer position, extending them up two thirds of the way up to the heavens. And in this tabernacle, this house of God, we find God's beautiful chalice filled with anything we could ever desire, want, or need, any gift, anything, as long as we use it in serving 
God and the Holy Spirit's love within. So here our prayers begin with, God, Holy Spirit within, I drink from your chalice, your gifts to me of Um. Now we keep our hands in prayer position. We take them down to the tops of our heads, down to the mat. Our elbows fall out to the sides, down to the mat. This forms a, a tabernacle, a house of God over our whole bodies. So here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for healing my body, my mind, my heart, and my spirit. Um, now we keep, we're going to start the anointing series. We keep our hands in prayer position during the whole anointing series. It's a series of four prayers where we thank God for the gifts that God's given us. And we acknowledge that our gifts come from God. They don't come from somebody teaching us something from some human. These are our spiritual gifts. These are gifts from the spiritual world to us. So here, we take our thumbs up to our foreheads, hands in prayer position, and our prayers begin with, God, <clears throat> I anoint your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our thumbs to our lips and our prayers begin with hands in prayer position, all four prayers. Our, hand, our prayers begin with God and Holy Spirit. I bless and I will use them only in service to your love, your gifts to me of Um. Oh. 
Now we take our hands down in prayer position over our hearts. And our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for your gifts to me of Um. Now we point our fingers down into our abdomens. and extend our arms, this is a motion this time, extend our arms out to right above our pelvis, our arms straight like the arms of a clock at the three o'clock position, hands above our pelvis, and we go counterclockwise up to the heavens to the 12 o'clock position, then down to the mat above our heads at the nine o'clock position. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my heart, and my spirit with your gifts to me of Oh. Now we, for a second time, take our thumbs up to our foreheads and our prayers. We do these four, same four prayers a second time. And here our thumbs to our forehead, our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and here our prayers begin with God, Holy Spirit within, I bless and I promise to only use them in service to your love, your gifts to me of Um. Oh. 
Now we take our hands down over our hearts in prayer position, and here our prayers begin with. God, I truly thank you for your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our hands, point them down into our abdomens, extend them out to the three o'clock position above our pelvis and then to the 12 o'clock and the nine o'clock positions. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my heart, and my spirit with your gifts to me of Um. Now we go back to resting position and we cross our right ankle over our left ankle, right wrist over our left wrist over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with. God. I thank you for always protecting me, for keeping me safe. Um. Now we roll over on our sides, pushing ourselves back up in the sitting position using our arms and our hands. We extend our right leg straight out in front of us. Our left foot goes across our right body, our right knee. Our, we hold our left knee with our right arm, holding it up near our chest. Our left arm goes behind our backs for support. And here our, we twist our heads, our shoulders, our backs to the left. And here our prayers begin with, God, Holy Spirit within, in service to your love, I desire to
Om. <clears throat> now we take our left foot straight out in front of us. Our right foot goes across our left knee. We hold our right knee with our left arm, our right arm behind our backs, twisting our heads, our shoulders, our backs to the left. I mean, to the right, I'm sorry. And here our prayers begin with God, in service to your love, I will Um. Now we get up on our knees. We put our hands in prayer position over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, Holy Spirit within, I love you and I truly thank you for Om. Now we take the tips of our thumbs together, the tips of our first fingers together, and we're going to put them down on the mat. And we'll lean over in child's pose and put our foreheads into this tabernacle this triangle with our hands down on the mat and here we just take a moment to feel god's love to feel the holy spirit all around us in the world around us and to feel the holy spirit on the inside inside of our spirits inside of our bodies Oh, now we go back to sitting position and we extend our right leg out straight out to the right side of our bodies. We take our left foot up to the inside of our right thigh. And here our prayers begin with. God, Holy Spirit within, in service to your love, I will become.
Om. Now we extend our left leg out to the left side of our bodies. Our right foot comes up to the inside of our left thigh. And here our prayers begin with. God, Holy Spirit within, in service to your love, I am. Om. Now we go back to sitting position. Sitting up straight and tall, our hands on our knees. Palms up, thumbs touching our middle two fingers. This forms tabernacles with our hands. Sitting straight and tall, we bow forward at our pelvis, and our prayers begin with, I bow to you, O God, Holy Spirit within, for healing my body, healing my mind, healing my spirit, and healing my heart. Om. Now we sit back up straight and tall a second time, and we're going to bow forward at our pelvis again, keeping our back straight. And here our prayers begin with, I bow to you, O God, the Holy Spirit within my true father, my true mother. Now we sit up straight and tall a third time, and we feel where we're grounded down to the mat on the left side and right side of our pelvis. On the left side of our pelvis, we feel God's wonderful white light of love filling our bodies, filling our legs all the way to the tips of our toes, filling our abdomens, our backs, our spines, going up through, filling our hearts and our lungs, and God's Spirit of white light of love fills our arms all the way to our fingertips. It fills our throats and our minds. And God's white light of love goes out the tops of our heads, this white light, this beacon shining strong and powerful, getting ever expanding wider and wider. And this beacon of God's white light of love surrounds the whole earth and rains down upon every living creature there is. Now we feel on the right side of our pelvis, God's blue light of truth fills our legs to the tips of our toes. God's blue light of truth fills our abdomens and our backbones. 
It fills our hearts. God's blue light of truth fills our hearts and our lungs and our arms all the way to the tips of our fingers. Fills our throats and our minds. God's blue light of truth goes out the tops of our heads, this blue light, and it expands wider and wider as a giant beacon surrounding the whole earth, wrapping the whole earth in God's truth, in God's blue light of truth. And it rains down upon every single living creature there is for them to choose God's truth or not, whatever they decide. Now we can step up into the light above our heads, into the spiritual world. Stay as long as we want, ask anything we want. But before leaving, we should always ask, God, what do I need to know this day? <laughs>